Hello guys, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about Bluetooth speakers versus non-Bluetooth speakers, aka wired speakers. So, I'm going to be showing you Bluetooth speakers versus wired speakers, the advantages of both, and yeah, let's, let's just see. So, uh, actually, I just realized that all the speakers I have are actually Bluetooth, and none of them are just, like, not Bluetooth. So, we're going to go off of non-Bluetooth, so I'm going to get all the Bluetooth speakers I have and bring them towards you. Alright, so the, ver the first Bluetooth speaker we have here is the Brudio. I don't know what model this is, it's just the Brudio. It's, there's two drivers, two treble and bass drivers. It's pretty simple, you know. I use this actually as a wired speaker. This speaker is wired on my monitor over there. Here's the wires I use it on. And yeah, I actually use this speaker as a wired connection. The next Bluetooth speaker I have is the Anchor Soundcore Select. I have it in this nice turquoise blue kind of color. And this one is also a Bluetooth speaker. I use this one as a Bluetooth speaker. It has two drivers again, treble and bass, and I use this as a Bluetooth speaker. It's really nice, actually. And the next Bluetooth speaker we have is this. This is the Sharper Image, and I use this as a Bluetooth speaker. I don't use it a lot, actually. It has one big driver. It's a treble and bass driver again, and yeah, cool. And the last Bluetooth speaker I have is actually my personal favorite, the JBL Charge 3. Now this thing is an absolute beast. It's camouflaged. It looks very, very nice. So what sets this Bluetooth speaker um, aside from any of all my other Bluetooth speakers is that it has four drivers. Yes, you heard me right. Two of the main drivers here are treble and bass, and these are just bass radiators on the sides. So that is my personal favorite Bluetooth speaker, and all the speakers I have use wired connections. But their main feature is Bluetooth, but they can all use wired connections. So if we open this little flap here, you can see we have a USB port, a micro USB port for charging, and always a wired connection. It seems like most all Bluetooth speakers nowadays have wired connections. And I'm going to be going over, should you use those wired connections or should you use the Bluetooth on the speakers? Now to start off, this might be an easy question. Most people think Bluetooth is way better, like you can connect your speakers wirelessly and it's just amazing. But, but the thing is, Bluetooth is actually quieter than auxiliary connections. Because auxiliary is a direct connection and it can actually make it louder and make the range not as good because it's a wire, you know. But Bluetooth, it has a specific range. Um, but same with the cord, because the cord cannot be as long as Bluetooth, so that's something to factor in. Oh yeah, and if you have a wired speaker without Bluetooth, it's kind of not good because like, you need to carry around a cord with you all the time. And then Bluetooth, I can just pick up this speaker, you know, just... You know, just pair it with my iPad. It's so easy. So let's see for convenience. So number one, we're starting off with Bluetooth. How convenient is Bluetooth? Well, all we do is we turn on our speaker. And then it just automatically connects to my iPad. That is very convenient. But as for a wired connection, I have to turn on the speaker. Okay, I have to open the little flap thing here and plug in our USB port to the speaker first. So I've actually never used the auxiliary on this speaker before. I've only used the Bluetooth. So you see, you have to plug it into your speaker, and then you have to take the other end, and then plug it into the device that you want to use, aka, like, etc., such... I don't know what I was saying. You can use the device such as iPads, iPhones, laptops, desktops. Oopsies. Um, what did I just do? Okay, I set my Bluetooth speaker into pairing. All right, and then after you do that, you have to plug it into your device as well as the Bluetooth speaker, and then you can listen to your audio. So overall, for convenience, I'm pretty sure Bluetooth wins. Our next category is protectiveness. Now, this might sound like a weird one, but as you know, the wires, like take for example an auxiliary wire, if you stick it out in the water or something, it might get damaged. 
while as just a regular Bluetooth speaker here, we can have the speaker playing, and since this speaker is IPX7, well, I mean, it's IPX7 just because it's a JBL speaker. Since this thing is IPX7, we can actually take it into the pool underwater and not worry about it getting damaged. So if we have a cord or an auxiliary wire, the auxiliary wire may shock me in the pool because there's actually electricity going through it. So protectiveness, I would have to go for a Bluetooth again. So I know I, I didn't cover that much in this video, but obviously the Bluetooth speaker wins over the wired speaker. And I don't have a wired speaker, but they, it does have a wired connection in the back, but still. This Bluetooth speaker, or any Bluetooth speaker, actually, if it has Bluetooth, it wins. And most modern speakers nowadays have Bluetooth, so you'll be able to get that functionality. If you liked Bluetooth versus wired speakers, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. I've been Matthew, and I'm out. I'm going to listen to more tunes on this speaker and just goodbye. I'll try out JBL Connect Plus soon.